Mm. And the person who um, uh, it's, the the person who inherited um, Newton's chair from him directly was um, William Winston, who also um, got into to Solomon's Temple. And but he uh, he was, was very influenced by Newton, including his religion. But he uh, declared it, and of course lost the chair, and was actually charged with heresy. Of all the members of the Newton Circle, William Whiston, his successor in the Lucasian chair at Cambridge, was far the most prolific writer on mosaic astronomy, on ancient chronology, on the interpretation of the Old and the New Testament, on problems of the Trinity, on the coming of the Great Conflagration, and on prophecy. He compiled more than forty works. His eccentric character led him to exaggerate where the more respectable figures in Newton's group either kept their opinions secret or restrained their enthusiasm. Yet precisely because they are so forthright, William Whiston's works cast important light on the hidden intent and meaning of similar writings by his great contemporary. Where Newton was covert Whiston shrieked in the marketplace. Quoted from the book, William Whiston Honest Newtonian, 